A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Hello, friends. Okay, before I show you what I have to deal with this morning, well, maybe I'll show you, and then <laughs> this, I'll show you the not so fun stuff, and then um, I have a few explaining things to do. So this is the mess that I came down to this morning. To be fair, it's not anyone's fault. Here's the note. Do not turn on dishwasher. If you want a dish, wash it by hand. This is a note Jason wrote. This is the mess. I saw a toolbox. I saw this for water. And I realized something happened with the dishwasher. There's a part. There was a code. Jason's going to fix it tonight, but he couldn't fix it before he went to work. So... I feel bad for Ashley having to wash the dishes. Technically, if this continues beyond today, her and um, Kaylee will need to work together to hand wash the dishes. But I do feel bad because this is almost a full load of dishes that needs to get hand washed. Because quite literally, we are out of utensils, out of forks, out of knives. Um, we do still have some sharp knives, but... Okay, so I came down to this. I came downstairs, ready for my workout, ready to go walking with my friend. And I cleaned my room before I came down here. Um, I had a bunch of stuff to kind of put away and I just wanted to straighten things up. Gathered laundry. So first of all, I come down and I find this mess. Okay, that's fantastic. And then I came in here and I thought, okay, well I'll just fold the towels that I had the kids put in last night and and then I'll go on my walk. Yeah, they didn't put all the towels in. It never got started. So now the load of laundry that I brought down to do can't go in. <sighs> and so like I told my friend that I was an hour away from being able to go because I wanted to make sure dishes got done, laundry got done, house straightened up. I worked on my room and I texted her. I said, I'm on my way because I can't do any of the things that I need to do right at home right now. And so let's just go. I wanted to wait for the sunshine to come out, which literally that's the first time the real sun has come out today and it's already 1.30. So I said, screw it, let's go for a walk. So we walked for almost five miles um, and did a minor little hike up through the little meadow, which was good and then came home. I actually went and got some, oh, it's still in my car. I realized it unload. Went to Costco again, <laughs> talked to my sister last night, and eventually I'm gonna get all of my doctors on the same loop. Um, but I talked to my sister last night about my dizziness, and she thinks it's my electrolytes, um, and so I went and got some body armor at Costco. Um, I was getting that pretty regularly for Ashley, um, when she was in cheer and I just stopped doing it, but I thought let's get some body ar armor um, She's gonna start her cheer camps and practices in July and it just helps The electric she could use the electrolytes as well if she goes out playing with her friends um, She tends to come in here and grab a poppy if we ha happen to have any which we do she just doesn't know about it. I have to hide them because <laughs> she's giving them out to every single person in the neighborhood. And I'm like, they're too expensive to share. I'm so sorry to all the friends, but they're too expensive to share. Body armors, luck, I mean, they're technically the same price, I guess, but she doesn't tend to share the body armors like she would share a, a poppy. So I went and got some uh, body armor from Costco. I also picked up two bags of chips um, for the 4th of July, which is next week, um, and as just something else that we can take for um, like my friend's barbecue that she's having. So now I'm back at home, but I wanted to tell you something that we saw while I was on my walk at the park um, with my friend. Um, all of a sudden she was like, oh hey, I think someone's German Shepherd is off leash up there on the trail. And I was like, oh, that's too bad. I, that's not usual that people don't have their dogs on leash. And then she was like, oh wait, that is not a German Shepherd. That is a coyote. <laughs> and so we kind of just, you know, stopped in our tracks, checked, yep, 
sure enough, it's a coyote. It was on the trail ahead of us and we kind of followed it and it was just very curious and it was just out trying to find food and water. And so I've got a couple videos of that and then it meandered its way through a little meadow. We came around the trail, saw him on the other side of the park and um, kind of were warning the few people that were on the trail because um, the sun was not out. So there's only a few of us that were actually out walking. So we told the people who had dogs, be careful, have a good hold on your dog when you circle this track because there is a coyote right now in the middle of the field. So dogs were, would be on alert. And also one lady who was just there by herself, um, she kind of walked up right past the dog, the coyote. And she was like, she, was, <laughs> she took out her earbuds as she's walking towards us. And she's like, please tell me that I'm walking past a coyote. Please don't tell me I'm walking past a coyote. And we're like, just keep walking, walk right past the coyote. Yes, that is a coyote. And she got over to us and she's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I just walked past the coyote. And we're like, yes, you did, yes, you did. And she's like, I think I wanna go home now. So take a look at the footage from that. And then immediately after, I will put in the footage of Jason going on his little rock climbing adventure yesterday. He was the leader for the youth boys. Um, they went rock climbing and Jason, because he has experience in belaying and rock climbing, him and two other guys um, were the, you know, the people in charge. And luckily they were because some of the boys put their harnesses on backwards. <laughs> they would not have been safe. So Jason checked every single kid, made sure their harnesses were on and they were tight, checked all the ropes, checked all the knots, and then I don't know what, what the footage is. Jason sent it to me, but so go check out that. It's up in the San Juan Islands is where he went. Um, and now it's making us want to go up there. Our friends are going up there next week and I'm like, oh, I'm so jealous. Now I want to book a, a weekend, but it's, it's really expensive to go there during the summer. But check out that. I'm going to start washing these dishes and then we will continue on our day. I have a mini streak in me to start working on the kids' bedrooms and have Jason paint with me on Friday. We'll see, we'll see if I can, we'll see. Can you guys see the, where did it go? He's right here. to the peninsula.
Okay. <laughs> Gosh. I don't know how long that took me. That was a lot of dishes. So they're all plates and utensils. Plates, bowls. Man, there's a lot here. Cleaned out the sink really good with a lot of soap and wiped all the counters off. And now we are on a wash by hand basis. You use it, you clean it. And I am a literal sweaty mess. <sighs> that, I, it takes me back to when I worked at Wendy's and I hated the days where I was the dishwasher. And you had to close and you just, you felt so nasty at the end of the day. Oh, so gross. Luckily I didn't have grease to wash today. Although I did have to wash my plates like two or three times because they just, my plastic ones felt so greasy that I ended up washing them three times. Are your chores done? That well, that is my chore. Yeah, that is your chore. Is your room clean? Because I actually might start wiping walls and moving your beds and stuff today. Because I'm already gross. And the weather's not like Why beach weather. Be because you know the schedule. I've got to get it done. And if Dad can start painting on Friday, if he can paint your room on Friday. You still need to go to Lowe's big soon. Correct. Correct. So maybe we can go to the dollar store right now, Blue take that Target, sample, and then go get my Stanley thing. Get your what? Stanley thing. What do you, you're not getting, oh. We went to Target that. yesterday and I got one of those Stanley cup it's like hold snack on. holders from Target dollar spot. Snack and you don't know where it went. And I don't know where it went. It's on my receipt. So, in fact, um, I'll go dig through my receipts on my desk, Ash. I hope I didn't throw it away. I throw it away. If I threw it away, it's upstairs in my makeup um, garbage can. So, anyway, I'm gonna go wash up just a bit. I'm not gonna shower, get cleaned up, because I just I really do want to like do their bedroom. I just don't know Are how involved it's gonna right be. Now? I don't know. I don't know. But I do need to go and get some supplies for uh, the little luncheon after church on Sunday, and uh, I don't want to have to do that Friday when Dad's home. What day is it? Today's Wednesday. I thought it was Thursday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, let's, I gotta just Holy. keep going. Alright, you guys. <laughs> I literally haven't even showered yet. It's been another, like, hour and a half or so since I finished the dishes. I finally sat down and took the time. I mean, I kind of had already, like, organized, like, my bills. But, um, all of my insurance stuff has been driving me crazy because I've gone to get my elbow looked at, it's been x-rayed, I've had lab work done, I've had a doctor appointment back in March, I've had, here, um, I can't even remember what else, but every single one of them wasn't using my current insurance. <laughs> like they weren't billing my current insurance and I'm like, I have turned in my insurance to every one of these doctors. I even went, you saw, I went in person to my doctor's office and like, we have that insurance on file. Go, go. go get in the car. Okay, okay. We're going to the dollar store. Let's try not to show the license plate. Um, but anyway, I mean, I, we're talking over a thousand dollars worth of bills that I know insurance would cover a very big part of that. Like I shouldn't have to, anyway. Finally sat on hold for three different offices and confirmed insurance on file or changed insurance on file and i think two or three of them they were like just wait now just wait don't do anything don't pay your current invoice bills just wait or you still have kaylee's like schedule you have like kaylee's dentist appointment tomorrow it helps because then i know if they're available to help you or take you or I like knowing where my kids are. Will you shut the garage door for me? And then I need to put my seatbelt on. Um, but anyway, I just, I literally went through everything and I put like notes and sticky notes on every single bill and every single EOB matched up to every single bill. Oh my goodness sakes, your friends. Can they play or not? Not now. Okay. Um, and they're all tucked away and they're all uh, two, one of them I can pay. It's like $30 copay. But um, I just needed to like get them all situated. And I, it took me an hour and a half. 
and I finally just did it. It's like the stupid oh, hard stuff dog. that you don't want to do. What dog is that? It's so cute. I don't know that dog. I don't know that owner. It's a cute little doggy. Um, so anyway, feels good to kind of get that kind of stuff situated. And um, oh, this girl is bored. None of her friends can play. Well, it was four o'clock and now it's six, 630. Are you really going to go play with them? Or are you going to go to their house or what? Yeah. Whose house? Ella's. Really? Yeah, her mom said that's okay. Yeah, she texted, yeah. Uh, she did? Yeah. Well, her, not, her mom didn't text, but okay, well. in the group chat, she was like, okay. you guys can come over at 6 to 6.30. Okay, maybe we should confirm no, that with parents. 5 to 5, 5.30 to 6 inch. Okay, we'll confirm that. Because are you ready to go if... Yeah. Because I'm not coming back home. I don't... I'm fine. I don't need you don't iPad. have... You don't need your iPad. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Do you have a sweatshirt? It's kind of cold outside. In fact, I might get mine... Today was the day to do this kind of stuff because it's overcast and, well, it's 73, so it's not cold. It's so just really overcast and, like, threatening rain. I, it just feels so good to get this kind of stuff done, and it's just stupid to waste summer days doing it, but you just got to do it. You got to be an adult. Okay, Ash, uh, show what you got so far. We're at the dollar store. Confetti. Got confetti for the table. We found these cute little balloon holders. We're not going to get balloons, but we're just going to put them on the table. And then I have red, white, and blue tablecloths. So we're gonna call it good because we're on a budget. And this is a tree hut dupe for lotion. Yeah. You don't even use an because enough. Because I can't because Chelsea has hers and she uses mine. Do you want that one? Do you want that dupe or not? I can't spell, so I don't know what it's called. Okay. <laughs> then don't complain about it. Okay. Jason's come in to save the day with his little headlamp. His little dishwasher and dispose all videos do so good. So do your work. Do your work. Earn me the numbers. <laughs> uh, I forget what they call it. It's like the water sensor or something. Maybe that's clogged. It had some gunk in it. So hopefully I just took it out, unplugged it, scraped it out, plugged it back in. Because it's just a plastic tube. So now we need to see if it'll work and stay on. So, start. Let's just do light. Is there like a sand? Because there's nothing in there. I just need we'll to just like... Do, it's got to make sure it runs. Okay, fine. Okay. Without having a sensor on it? Well, no, it has a sensor. No, without having like a, oh, the coat. coating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, ah. He also forgot about his food. Ah. Did you burn it? Dude, I had a woman to help me out with this cooking and stuff. Hard to come home, <laughs> have to cook, fix everything. Hmm. Really? <laughs> keep laughing, boy. Keep, <laughs> keep laughing, boy. All right, I'm gonna end my night with you with bad lighting here in my laundry room. I just went and picked up Ashley from her friend's house. I'm going. Not to bed. It's 8.30. Yep, 8.30. Just going to my room. I'm going to go and dibs the TV. And I'm just going to relax. I still have loads of laundry to finish. And two loads of towels left. And a load of my clothes that I need for tomorrow because they're all my workout socks. But I just leave in my car. And <laughs> now I don't have any socks to go tomorrow. So I need to keep going on this laundry. So I'll be coming back down. But... Take care, you guys. He's making Ashley a oh, there's the light. He's making Ashley a sandwich. Still in the kitchen making food. Rough life, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Such a douche. <laughs> well, I just realized the last time I brought you on camera, I was standing here making food. So <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh, there's already a loaf in here. Fantastic. You can take it out. <laughs> You got nothing going on, you take it out. All right, you guys, take care. Um, just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm at the point in my day where I'm like, you know, I don't have any care for whatever else happens tonight. So <laughs> I'm gonna go and lock myself in my bedroom. Take care and we'll see you next time.
break maybe that's why i fade into this bitter taste i think i'll let it be